All right, well, we're gonna turn now to our final segment of the show. It's our time for our monthly CMS Corner, uh, which comes to you from the Coordinate Metrology Society. And they're one of our very closest strategic partners. Um, the CMS, the Coordinate Metrology Society, that's the place to go for anything that anyone would need to know about three-dimensional industrial measurement. The Society's annual conference, the CMSE, is coming up quickly here in just a few months. I think it's yep. in July in Rito, yep. uh, is, is this year's CMSE. And in this segment, we're chatting with Russell Morrison, who is the Senior Product Specialist at Geodetic Systems, Inc. Russell, thanks for joining us on CMS Corner. Hi, Mike. Hey, Dirk. How are you doing today? I'm great, and you guys? Hey, we're, we're doing. We're, we're, we're doing. We're, we're doing fine. Good. We're doing fine. Hey, you know, uh, Russell, you. your company uh, GSI uh, mm -hmm. specializes in a in a form of coordinate metrology, uh, which maybe not a lot of people are familiar with. Photogrammetry. A lot of us are familiar with arms and lasers and stuff, but you guys have actually used um, something that's been around for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us a, bit, a little bit about photogrammetry and why it's important for important uh, in, industrial applications? Sure. Well, um, I guess the, the short answer to that is photogrammetry is the art and science of making reliable measurements from images. And there is a much longer and more eloquent version of that, but that basically sums it up um, in a nutshell. Uh, what we do is we take uh, digital cameras, we take a series of images, we use um, highly automated um, software to use triangulation techniques and that produces, that yields XYZ coordinates. Um, and photogrammetry is used in a whole range of, of different applications and, and it comes in different forms. It's used for, uh, for heritage recording, it's used for um, medical applications, it's it, all kinds of things. But what we focus on is industrial measurement or uh, close range photogrammetry. And primarily those, er uh, those industries are um, aerospace, space technologies, automotive, shipbuilding, um, uh, antenna manufacturing, basically anything that's large and requires um, high precision measurement, uh, characterization or alignment, uh, we tend to get involved in things like that. You know, there's so many great people at, at the Coordinate Metrology Society. We've, we've been to that show, Dirk and I, right. for, for a decade and more at this point. Um, and, and you're one of the guys who has just so much experience and so much interesting stuff you've done. You've done a lot of really interesting projects in your career uh, with, with, uh, with GSI and in this industry. Can, can you maybe share with us a couple of the more interesting projects you've done in, in your time? Sure, yeah, I have. I've been very fortunate. and. I think some of those applications have not, I mean, they've been enormously uh, challenging metrology tasks, but sometimes they just get me into really cool places. So I've had the opportunity to work on projects um, like radio telescope projects, and many of them are at um, high elevation, uh, over 18,000 feet in the most extraordinary places like the Atacama Desert in northern Chile. Um, and then there's been other applications that have just been, you know, flat out weird. We get all kinds of uh, calls sometimes and I guess the most famous or infamous of those is the the 4 and 20 pi project which um, that happened at a time I was working many 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 years ago I was working at the geomatics department in um, Melbourne Australia at the University of Melbourne and we were we were contacted by a local pie manufacturer who needed to know what the average pie was and uh, by, term, by determining the, the length and the width and the height of a, of a pie, they might be able to um, you know, optimize the packaging and maybe save some money on that. So we were, we were tasked to go and measure all these pies and um, kind of devise a plan to do it and uh, with some caution throw to the wind, we, we jumped into this project. It turned out uh, we had to measure 20 different product lines and a thousand of each. So now we're talking about 20,000 of these pies that needed measurement. Um, it was uh, um, a setup where we had like a measurement bay and we had these movable targets that represented those, uh, uh, the left, right and upper part of the pie and these parks were pies were parked into this measurement bay and we had overhead cameras that were triggered and we'd automatically um, process the images, uh, output the results, do the conversion to from coordinates to length with height, put it into a spreadsheet. It was all kind of automatic, and then the next pies were loaded. 
it was it was absolute uh, sheer genius <laughs> and, and madness at the same time. And um, did you get was, free uh, pies uh, for life? <laughs> which, actually, we during the process we we did have the opportunity to, work, to eat some of those pies, and I got to say they they taste much much better straight out of the factory than. <laughs> Um, after being in cold storage for a few months. <laughs> but there was one occasion where we were working on a, a, at an aerospace company and uh, working on a very large um, tooling fixture and the phone rang, we got this call that uh, chicken pies were coming off the line. <laughs> and so we, without hesitation, we just down tools, we packed the van, we raced across town and started measuring chicken pies. It was... Um, the most uniquely um, challenging, uh, crazy, um, fun project that I've ever worked on. Well, that's great. I mean, they, you can see, Dirk, these guys have achieved a holy grail of, of, of right. a pie. They, they've precisely measured pie. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. You guys have achieved it. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, we should say they, it's, it's, they, it's they, a, they thought pie was like a, uh, what, what do you call that? A, a, an irrational, a, an irrational number. number. <laughs> no, it's, they measured it. They Not measured at all. pie. Not at all. <laughs> well, Russell, um, you know, education and training, uh, important part of, of the CMSC mission, the, the CMS mission, Coordinate Metrology Society uh, mission. Um, and, and that's really a key thing for bringing people into, especially the education part of that, bringing people into the industry. And, and it's, it's a graying industry, let's, let's be frank. Um, so bringing people in it really is an important piece of that. So what do you see as some of those factors that will help bring uh, some fresh blood into the industry? Well, I, I think that education um, is really important. I, I think um, that will that will help people see a path into metrology where maybe there wasn't uh, um, it wasn't so clear. Um, if I look back on my own career, it seems to be a perfectly laid out set of stepping stones, um, looking backwards from where I started to get to um, you know where I am today and working in photogrammetry. However, when I look forward, it was maybe just a set of um, uh, right choices, uh, opportunities that came along. And so now with that um, metrology certification that uh, CMSC is offering, I think that gives people a path and certainly a look into some of the things that what we do. There's so much development going on with um, both hardware and software, um, things like you know the ultra portability of systems, the wearable systems, everyone wants to fly things these days on drones. and um, I think they're doing a good job to promote that um, the field and the metrology is not just a bunch of old guys in lab coats. It's a lot cooler than that. And uh, for those out there who maybe haven't uh, attended a Court of Metrology Society conference, maybe you can give us a quick overview of, of what it's all about. I mean, if you were to go to CMSC for the first time, what kind of conversations would you have? What problems would you solve? And, and maybe as a little sideline of that, you can tell us a little bit about what you guys are going to do in your booth this year. You always have a fun booth with a lot of activity. So maybe a little right. sneak peek well, at that too. I'll see what I can. Um, <laughs> I'll see what I can divulge. Um, I, I always encourage people to come to attend CMSC. It is by far the, the one-stop shop, the, the opportunity to um, see exactly what we do, that being large-scale metrology using portable measurement systems. Um, you'll have the opportunity to meet with expert users that have decades of experience, um, sitting on the technical presentations, which unfortunately I never get to see myself because I'm in the booth, um, and and get to cha a chance to talk to you know people like us, equipment manufacturers, and talk directly. And um, it's a gr always a great opportunity for us to meet with our, our customers there. Um, as far as our booth this year, um, we'll have our flagship products. We'll have the Inca camera, the Dynamo cameras, and this year a newly configured version of the D5 system that's uh, highly, highly automated. So we're looking forward to showcasing that. There'll be um, the usual um, fun activities. Some of those are still in planning, so I, you know, we're not sure on some of those things, but there'll be definitely a competition. There will be, um, yeah, a lot of fun. Um, and so we invite you to bring all of your dare and skill into our booth and see how you go. There's always, um, there's always some secrecy around what will be the GSI squishy toy each year. <laughs> and um, I gotta say this year is no different. I, I can't really say, unless we had like a, a non-disclosure agreement in place <laughs> and we don't discuss that. 
<laughs> but um, yeah, some people we, some people have a huge collection of those squishy toys. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> they do. In fact, just to I I had them in case the question came up. I got them right here. So here <laughs> is the last twenty years of um, marketing madness. It all started with this guy, <laughs> the, the rubber ducky. Oh, and the from there, it's just gone on. It's it's become almost a cult following for some. <laughs> so um, you'll just have to come along to CMSC this year and find out what, what it's going to be. Well, on that note, yes, it's uh, the, the show this year is in Reno, Nevada, uh, in, in middle of July. I believe it starts on July. I think it's July 10th through July 15th this year is, is CMSC. Uh, you can find out more information at www.cmsc.org. And you can also check out Geodetic at geodetic.com. So, Russell Morrison, thanks again for joining us on this week, this month's CMS Corner. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Good right, to we'll, talk we'll, to you. We'll see you in Reno. See thanks, you in Reno. Thanks. That's right. <laughs> All right.